How's it going, pals? Welcome to NDWA Empire. We're in Mobile, Alabama. First up, we got a singles competition, and it's scheduled for one fall. First, coming out to the ring from Manitoba, Canada, Jade. At the start of the night, we have seen Butcher do something he rarely ever does, and that was make a statement against Gene Chase, and it was a very threatening statement indeed. And her opponent, Clara Bell. And Clara Bell has made her debut in NDWA and has certainly made an impact. This is going to be an opportunity for both Jade and uh, Clara Bell because there is going to be a women's tournament, but of course that has been postponed right now. Victoria Carey and Quick Draw will face at the pay per view for the NDWA Women's Championship. And the bell has rung. Clara Bell and Jade right here. Clara Bell throwing her down. Oh, look at the drop kick in the back of the neck to Jade. This match starting out here strong in Clara Bell's favor. Going for a butterfly suplex. Look how she locked the arm there, almost grabbing the wrist, making sure that she couldn't fight out of that. Clara Bell, oh my God, a power slam as well, showing some power here. Jade rolling over here and Clarabelle just using that strength again throwing her over Clarabelle is certainly certainly a monster here in this ring just throwing Jade around of course Jade not a very big person but still this is very impressive look at this and the speed on Clarabelle as well which is certainly matched to her power referee looking on Clara Bell got her up. Look at the power as we're speaking about it. Just showing it off here. A stalling suplex. Even squatting twice. What a suplex there. We have a great uh, matches for you here tonight. We have Gene Chase going against Butcher in a ladder match. If, if Butcher wins, it's going to be a steel cage match at Redemption. And then if Gene Chase wins, it's going to be an Iron Man match. Look at Clara Bell. Just punishing Jade here. But we also have a six-man tag tonight as well. And again, throwing her over. Jade literally has no offense in this match so far. Clara Bell just absolutely demolishing and dominating Jade. Jay just can't get on her feet. And another power slam. And he's going to go for the PN1. Not even a two count. Clarabelle looking a little surprised that Jade even had it in her to kick out. And look at that Clarabelle just not even, just not even caring about that club to the shoulder. And she flips her over. Finally, Jade trying to pick up steam. Look at this, Hurricane Rana. 
crowd going a little crazy here. One and a kick out. This crowd sounds a little bit divided between Jade and Clarabelle. Oh, look at the kicks right there. She's got her up on the rope. Oh, right into that leg. That's got to hurt the leg and the knee of Jade. Clarabelle trying to go for that pin again. One, two, and no, a kick out. Clarabelle still can't believe it. Crowd going nuts right now. I'm not sure whose side they're on, though. Is it Clarabelle or Jade's? There's the power again on Clarabelle. Jade really needs to step it up. She needs to use that speed as much as possible. Because right now, Clarabelle has this one in the bag. She's trying to reach for those ropes. Looks like Clarabelle's going to let her get on her feet. But that's short-lived as she puts her right back down on the knees. Oh, that knee right into the shoulder and the neck of Jade. Now, of course, our women's division. Look at this. German suplex. Our women's division right now is really popping as Quick Draw and Victoria Carey will lead the charge and become the next NDWA women's champion. All right. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to definitely check on that uh, tonight as well to see if there's any more updates on the matchup. Clarabelle, another backbreaker. They're just trying to squeeze her down. Oh, what a drop kick. What is Clarabelle doing? Oh, God, here it comes. The crowd knows what's going on as well. She's going to go for that kick. Oh, and she gets it. Jade is out. That could be the end of this match. No, a kick out by Jade there. And another knee to the back. Look at this, just punishing her now. Getting a little bit frustrated as well. Going to the second rope, and again, that elbow coming down right over the face of Jade. She's really working that head. Probably trying to give her a concussion. Jade not even knowing where she is, just stood there as Clarabelle sends her into the rope. And again, look at this. Going to try to take out that leg as well. That way she can't get that speed on her, which is so smart. I believe Jade's about had it. I can't believe she kicked out. And here she goes again. One, two, no, and a kick out again. Clarabelle just can't believe it. She's dominated this matchup, but Jade just doesn't want to give up. And she's got her again. We've seen this move many times in this matchup. You know it's got to be wearing her down. Oh, look at this again. Clarabelle. Going to go for that kick. Crowd not liking it, though. Oh, and again. That kick, that's got to be it. We could call this one right now. I'm going to say that it's done. She's going for that pin. Will it be it? Yes, it is. Clara Bell's the winner. And here is your winner. Clarabelle and what an impressive win it was wait a minute what is Jade doing she's gonna try to shake hands with Clarabelle and Clarabelle does it the crowd going wild though The next match is a singles match scheduled for one fall. First, coming out to the ring from Queens, New York, Justin 
Jones. Justin Jones isn't even supposed to be in NWA. Justin Jones faced Co-Train in a singles match, and NDWA posted up a poll. Joe Phelps put it on the NDWA Twitter and said, Who do you think should get a contract? Both of them? Justin Jones? Co-Train? Or neither? And of course, the internet being the internet voted for neither. So these people aren't even contracted for NDWA, but it's not over as after the match, 3G came out and attacked Justin Jones. And of course that didn't sit right with Co-Train as Co-Train turned around and saved Justin Jones from what I can only assume would be a horrible beating. And his opponent from Scotland, 3G. Of course, we know 3G's deal by now. He wants to take out all the smaller people in NDWA, the people that jumps off the top rope, the people that he says is ruining wrestling and ruining the NDWA. And look at this, 3G right out in the clothesline. Lifting him up. Well, look at this, going for a spin there. Just tossing him down. Look at this, 3G wasting no time trying to get that pin. And not even a two count. Got him in a headlock and look at that. Punched him right in the mouth. Oh, what a punch there. 3G. Oh my God, what a pile driver there by 3G. Going for that pin. One, two, no. Justin Jones kicks out of it as 3G was about to pick up a quick win. Remember, 3G will face Co-Train at the pay-per-view. After 3G tried to attack Justin Jones in an earlier episode of Empire and Co-Train went back and, and saved Justin Jones after just having a match with him for a contract here in NDWA. Look at this, Justin Jones finally back up. Oh, and Justin Jones now with the double knee backbreaker. He's going for that pin as well. Will this be enough? And no, he kicks out. 3G hasn't been on a very good streak here of late. And in fact, in the last episode of Empire, he faced a returning Yamashita, and he did lose that matchup. In fact, 3G hasn't won a matchup since Kid Nitro, which of course we haven't seen Kid Nitro since. And got a pin here, one, and a kick out. I want to thank you all for tuning in to NDWA Empire. If you do want to see more, oh look at this, and another pile driver to Justin Jones just demolishing him right now. And look at this, it's going to be over. 3G just beat Justin Jones in record time, and that smile says everything. And here's your winner. 3G. Wait a minute, what is this? Co-Train out here and a clothesline to 3G. My God, what's he gonna do? He's picking him up. 
Oh no, look at this. Co-Train got him on his shoulders. What a torture rack right now. 3G tapping out, but Co-Train won't let it go. There it is. He puts him down again, but Co-Train lifting him back up. What's he going to do here? Oh, and another spine buster just in the shades of Justin Jones earlier in the matchup. 3G has won this matchup, but at what cost? Look at this, and again, another torture rack. Just punishing him here. And he's trying to tap out again. And look at this. He's just dropping him down and picking him right back up. Just torturing him here. And again, another torture rack. If that's not symbolic, then I don't know what it is. This match is a six man tag and it's a one fall. First, coming out to the ring from Venezuela, Flynn. Of course, Flynn used to be tag team partners with Cody Spike and he turned on him. And ever since then, Cody Spike has been wanting his hands on him. In fact, there was even a rule that says the two cannot touch each other. But Cody Spike interfered in one of the matchups and attacked Flynn. But since the referee didn't saw it, no one can make the judgment call on if Cody Spike loses his chance at the new title at the pay-per-view when he goes up against Flynn. His partners first from Kyoto, Japan, Chio Matsuo, and his partner from Kodo, Japan, Azuru Amari. These two here, of course, making waves and gonna face the after party for the tag team championships at Redemption. their opponents first the NDWA tag team champions DJ K2 KPG the after party
and their partner from Fargo, North Dakota, Cody Spike. Trust nobody but the money in the car, yeah. I be counting up, they be switching up. I can't trust nobody but the money in the car. Yeah. And the matchup's underway. Chio grabs DJK2 and throws him over. DJK2 already crawling. Chio Matsuo is definitely not a small guy here. He's definitely one of the biggest ones in this matchup. And in, in fact, he's actually even taller than KPG. I think KPG may have the weight advantage. Look at this, the knees right into their crowd, not liking that at all. We're grabbing him by his ankles. DJK2 trying to hold on, but gets slammed right to the ground. Going for that pin already. One, two, no, not even a two count. DJK2 kicks out. Matsuo got him. His hands behind his neck. Look at that, throwing him into the turnbuckle again. And look at this again. The crowd definitely not liking this as the after party is a fan favorite. Oh, just tossing him down to the ground. Look at this, DJK2 trying to make it over to the partner. And he got Cody Spike in. Cody Spike coming out to the ring here. Oh, no. It was short-lived as Matsuo, like a brick wall. An atomic drop. KPG trying to get to the corner. Definitely wants that tag in as well. He may be the only one that could take down Matsuo. Sending him to the turnbuckle here. Cody Spike trying to fight back now, but he is in their corner. Oh, he's got that arm. He's got that arm wrenched right now. Matsuo trying to fight out of it, and look at that. Some clubs right to the ribs. DJK2 makes his way back up on the apron. Oh, and he just tosses him. Look at that, laughing. Laughing at the crowd, laughing at Spike. Definitely laughing at after party, thinking he's going to take the tag team titles away from him. Oh, look at the power. Look at that, the crowd really getting behind after party and Cody Spike. Oh, knee to the guts. Cody Spike still on his... Oh, no, again. Cody Spike just can't seem to get him down. Matsuo slams him down on the mat. Chio raising him up. Chio throwing him in the corner. Look at this. The power of Matsuo to just be able to manhandle somebody, whether in a tag team match or in a singles competition, is just very, very impressive. Look at him just walking around him like he's a shark. Going for that pin, though. One. Two, no, Cody Spike kicks out of it. It takes a lot of energy to kick out of some uh, a pin by someone so big. Oh, and that backhand. Cody Spike lands on that rope as well. Referee may need a check on him, but he's going for the pin right now. Referee goes down one, two, no, kick out. That time, Flynn and KPG came out worrying about Cody Spike and... Look at this, he's whipping him. Cody, this isn't the time to be doing this right now. And there it is, the perfect example of what could happen. Oh, and he slams him down with a vicious sidewalk slam. Cody's certainly hurting from that. Now Chio showing off to the crowd. Both of these two men wanting that tag. And he gets the DJK2. 
KPG definitely needs in this matchup. Was KPG actually aggravated there that he didn't get the pin or the, the tag rather? Oh, DJK2 fighting out of this. Couple clubs to the eye and a head scissors. Got to do whatever he can. Oh, and another head scissors. Looks like he's going to dab. There it is. It's going to the top rope. What's DJK2 got in mind? Oh, what an elbow drop to the sternum of Chio Matsuo. Finally, this matchup has gone another way. Going for that pin right away. One, two, and a kick out, though. But that was very impressive to even get a two count on Chio Matsuo as he dominated this matchup. Oh, eat the feet. Eat the feet right there in the mouth. Let's see what happens here. Going for that pin. His partners is not coming in. They must have very good faith that he was going to kick out there. DJK2 can't believe it. Thought he had him there. That was the double eat defeat. Oh, the referee is down. No, DJK2 said no. Not yet. Got him in that arm bar, but there's a rope break. Referee telling him to break it up. Oh, did he get that tag? Yes, he did. The referee said he saw it. Flynn in the match now with DJK2 and another eat defeat right there to Flynn. DJK2 may get this. Look at this. One, two, no, and a kick out. DJK2 arguing with the ref right up face to face with him. He's going to have to watch it and make sure that he doesn't... Uh, do anything to get himself disqualified. Roundman those knees right into the chest and the neck of Flynn. Trying to wear him down. Cody Spike not looking too good out there. And barely even being able to stay on the apron. Oh, what a club to the neck. And a Hurricane Rana. Gio Matsuo still hasn't got to his feet though. DJK2 definitely... Uh, gave him a hard time. We come in into the corner. Look at this. This is what After Party is known for. They're tag teaming. And an elbow to the back of Flynn. Oh no, look, Flynn trips him up. Gets that tag to Omari. Omari got him. Hand on the back of the head, dragging him to the ropes here. What's he going to do? Throwing him down. And driving that foot into the chest of KPG. In fact, oh, look at that. He tried to go for a big boot, but KPG didn't go down. And look at the power on KPG just throwing Amari down. And look outside on the apron where DJK2 is having a whole Cody Spike up. That way Cody Spike can even stay on the apron. Now that's tag team work. The crowd going crazy here as KPG. Oh, dominating Amari now. Just a burst of energy by KPG. Look at that, just throwing him down. He can't even get a maneuver on him. KPG being very impressive. Oh, the power. Omari isn't a small guy at all. And just throwing him over his uh, head like that is impressive. Is KPG going now? Sending him into the turnbuckle. Oh, look at this. Clubs right into the back of the head. Zuru needs to get to his partners. Look at this. Oh, the ho ho train. My God. Oh, he's going to send him into the turnbuckle. He needs to get that tag, and he does. Flynn back into this matchup. He sends him to the turnbuckle. What's this? Oh, super kick right into the the ribs and the uh, the waist of KPG. Look at that. KPG still doesn't go down now. Flynn working very good with his tag team. 
with the KPG. Oh my God, what a top row belly to belly going for that pin. One, two, no, and a kick out. We need to see that top row belly to belly again, that's for sure. Oh, and a jab right to the neck and a club. He's going for this. Is he? Is he going for the tag or no? No. He decided to not go for it. Because DJK2 or Cody Spike isn't in the best conditions either. But KPG can't do this alone. And another tag here. Flynn and Chio Matsuo. Oh, super kick. Chio Matsuo going for that pin. One. Two, no, not even a two count. KPG fighting out of it. These two big men in this matchup now. Oh, and finally KPG gets taken off of his feet as Chio Matsuo gives him a backhand. Oh, and KPG fighting back now. He's going for the pin. Will this be enough? No, and it won't. Chio Matsuo getting out of that as well. Oh, and the referee is down again. I believe Chio Matsuo is doing this on purpose. That's twice. Oh, and again. Are you kidding me? He needs to have a disqualification for that. But the referee makes it back to the feet and doesn't call it. You must see it. Look, he went for it again. Did y'all see that? Chio Matsuo trying to attack the referee so that they can cheat is what it is. Oh, he's got him by the ankles. Oh, and he slams him down. Looks like Cody Spike doing a little bit better as DJK2 helping him uh, stay up. The crowd thinking something's coming here, and it looks like it is. Look at the power on Chio Matsuo. That could be it. No, look at this. Cody Spike coming to the ring, and he actually saves it. He saves the matchup. It could have been it right there. KPG out code right now. And a kick to the chest just for... Wait a minute. Both of them just jumped off the apron. They don't want any part of this. Chio Matsuo having to do this alone, it looks like. Flynn not even back on the apron yet. Amari did get back on the apron, but both of them didn't want to tag in. Flynn finally making his way back on the apron, but what is that? They were working so well together, and then it uh, it suddenly stopped. Both of them deciding to jump off the apron. KPG going for it. No. Chio Matsuo pushes him off. And elbows to the back of the head. Look at that. What a... Uh, what a big uh, showing here by Chio Matsuo just just punishing the crowd basically knowing that after party is a fan favorite and him showing off oh and a double axe handle to the back going for that whip into the turnbuckle Chio Matsuo Back into that turnbuckle, get, giving those elbows to KPG, and he's laughing at the crowd again. Look at this. Is he sizing him up? DDT. KPG needs to do something in a hurry. Oh, look at this. KPG just threw Chio Matsuo across the ring. And a jawbreaker. I never expected KPG to come back from that. He looked like he was dead to the world. But here he is trying to fight back. Oh, and an axe handle again. And he got that tag. Finally, Amari gets the tag in. Oh, and, a, and a, a, a spinning axe handle, or not an axe handle, sorry about that. Uh, a spinning forearm, as I should say. Oh, what's going on here? He's down in the, 
positioning, but wait a minute, no, KPG's got other plans. Look at that, Chio Matsuo has been doing that. So there's a message to them. DJK2 getting back into this matchup. KPG's gotta be tired. Oh, he's going for the pin though. One, two, no, and a kick out. And a kick right to the back. Looks like both KPG and Cody Spike filling the after effects. They think he went for a defeat there. Oh my God, what a maneuver. Kick right in the face. That could be it. Here it is. One, two. No, not even a two count. Cody Spike did get into the ring to break that up. But DJK2 did get the kick out there. Chio Matsuo back on the apron to fill in the effects. Oh, look at this. Crowd just blowing him away. When you face the after party, you need to get the job done because that's the only thing you're going to do. You're not going to get in the crowd's favor. And that goes for Cody Spike as well. But look at this. Oh, my God. Because they definitely didn't like Flynn after the attack on Cody Spike. And this could be it. No, Cody Spike breaks it up. And a big boot. Just taking him out. Look at that. He's taunting and didn't even see the tag. D uh, KPG coming into the ring. Oh my God, what an uppercut. Running right into it. That could be it. Picking him up to his feet. Look at this. A submission, a cross face. Cody Spike coming back into the ring again. But KPG gets the rope. KPG not showing any movement right now. It looks like Amari's calling for it. Amari just waiting, trying to get his breath, but that also gets KPG's breath up. Whipping him into the corner. Oh, and the referee's down again. I believe that's the fourth time in this matchup. But he is getting right back up, which is definitely a good thing. I'm just so surprised there, there hasn't been a disqualification yet. KPG trying to get his breath. DJK2 finally get back in on, uh, getting back on the apron. What a neck breaker there. Azuru really showing off. Getting that crowd fired up. back on his feet KPG definitely needs to do something and another neck breaker just punishing him now wait a minute no KPG got him and get the pin or, or the tag and he does Cody Spike elbow to the back Tag team maneuvers here by Cody Spike. Now this tag team showing what it's like. All of these men experienced in tag team division as Cody Spike and Flynn used to be tag team partners. And once again, the same mistake. Cody Spike goes to talk to the crowd. And Chio Matsuo, oh my God, what a clothesline. Cody Spike trying to get the crowd behind him to give him a little adrenaline. And he should have waited. As he got the hot tag on him there. But this definitely isn't good as Amari is on the outside. Trying to catch his breath. Trying to get up. Amari lifts him. Or excuse me, uh, Chio lifts him. Look at the power right there and it's over. It's going to be it. One. Two, no, KPG breaks up that pin. The match continues, but at what cost? All of these men has a match at redemption. He's just waiting on him. Look at this. It sounds like he's talking smack to Cody Spike. And Flynn is loving it, laughing in Cody Spike's face. Chio Matsuo told him that this is the end. 
and Flynn, you can hear him just laughing. Look at this, it could be it. One, two, three. No, KPG didn't get the save. And here is your winners. Chio, Matsuo, Kazuru, Amari, and Flynn. What an impressive contest here. Correctly, after Co-Train attacked 3G, 3G went to Joe Phelps, our general manager, and demanded punishment. And he says, yes, I will do it. At the pay-per-view, you will face Co-Train, but whoever loses will be fired from the NBWA. And this match is a ladder match. Whoever is the winner will get to pick the stipulation for the match at redemption for the NDWA World Championship. First, Butcher. Now this match is actually a very important matchup because if Butcher pulls down the gas container, then he will get a contract that says he gets to choose the stipulation which he's already chosen and it's gonna be a steel cage match with Gene Chase. So Gene Chase will have nowhere to go. And his opponent, the NBWA Heavyweight Champion, Gene Chase. And just following the Butcher thing as well, if Gene Chase grabs the gas can and he wins, then it will be an Iron Man match at Redemption. But you have to wonder, will an Iron Man match even be best for Gene Chase? Does he have anything that he can do to overcome this monster Butcher? And if you ask me, this matchup is very important. Butcher and Gene Chase. Trying to figure out what matchup it'd be, but at the same time, Gene Chase chose an Iron Man matchup. So he must think that he's got something up his sleeve to be able to get the most points against Butcher. And look at Butcher biting on Gene Chase's fingers there. Butcher has been very dominant of late and when getting a win over our NDWA heavyweight champion, Gene Chase. 
Look at this. Once again, just showing that dominance, just grabbing our champion, throwing him up against that turnbuckle and a club to the head. Look at this, just picking him up once again. Oh, and a backbreaker. And got him again, just lifting him like he's nothing. And another backbreaker there. Gene Chase just definitely feeling the effects of this. And he's going for that hand again and biting the fingers of Gene Chase. What kind of maniac does that? Oh, he's got him lifted up. Look at the power on Butcher as the crowd goes nuts right now. Butcher spinning him around and slamming him down onto the mat. Gene Chase trying to get back up to his feet and just can't. Falls right down in front of Butcher and Butcher with a heavy club to the head. Butcher basically playing a cat and mouse game. Oh, Gene Chase trying to fight back, but Butcher will not have it. Oh, look at this. He misses him. Gene Chase gets out of the way. Oh, but not that time as it goes to the outside. This isn't good for Gene Chase, but look at this. Butcher grabs that ladder. Actually sending it into the ring, and Butcher getting back into the ring as well. Gene Chase trying to get back to his feet. He's going to have to hurry so that he can catch Butcher before he gets up there and pulls the gas container down. From what I understood, they are reaching for a gas container because they found it in Butcher's property. Look at it, it's holding on by a chain. That's going to hurt if somebody uses that as well. Gene Chase trying to fight off Butcher here, slams his head into the ladder. And again, but he doesn't go down. There he goes, falling off the ladder and Gene Chase. Look at this, going up to the top. Frog splash. My God, Butcher's got to be feeling the effects of that. Lifting him up. And he's got him in the ropes. And again in the ropes again. And Chase trying to get his breath here. He can't even do a maneuver because he can't get his breath. And Butcher right back up and look at this, throwing him over his head. He shouldn't have took that breath. He should have took everything he could and attacked Butcher. Butcher rolling out of the ring. But wait, he rolls back in. He's got to remember that this is a ladder match. He's got to take every opportunity to climb that ladder. I don't think Butcher remembers the rules. I believe he just does these matches to punish people. Sends him into the turnbuckle. Look at the power. Oh, he kicks down the ladder, though. Oh, right into that turnbuckle. And rolling onto the ladder. It looks like Gene Chase may be bloody there. After he sent him into the turnbuckle. Look at this. What is this? Oh, Gene Chase got him. No, he runs right through him. And oh, my God. What a pounce. Throwing Gene Chase all the way across the ring. Look at the power on Butcher just dominating. Look at the height. Our world champion just went and wisely rose out of the ring. What is Butcher doing? See, this is what I don't get with Butcher. It's almost like he doesn't even know where he is. He just knows to dismantle people. He's got that ladder in hand and he sends it into his face. Wait a minute, he doesn't set it up. Butcher. Not exactly knowing what he's going to do here. Oh my god, look at the power and a big headbutt. Oh, he's going for a choke slam, but no. Gene Chase fighting out of it. Oh, look at this. Russian like sweet. That's got to hurt Butcher. Gene Chase looking to go after that ladder now. Gene Chase gets it set up though first time. He's going to the top. The crowd not liking this. Butcher stands up. Butcher's going to go to the other side. Gene Chase saw him coming. Going to try to stop him before 
he does any damage. Look at this. Gene Chase got him. Don't do this. Oh, no. Suplex. My God. What a maneuver. Butcher is out. This is Gene Chase's match to win now. Look at that. Wait a minute. The lights went out. It's Butcher. Butcher just appeared behind Gene Chase. My God. He was knocked out cold after getting a suplex from the ladder. And now he just appeared behind him and just demolishing our NDWA heavyweight champion. Will this show that he, he will become the next champion? Gene Chase trying to get on his feet and just cannot. Oh, look at that. He tried to smack Butcher and Butcher just smacks his hand away. Oh, and he's just tossing him around back and forth. Oh my God, look at that. The crowd going nuts as he slams this boot into Gene Chase's chest. Remember, Gene Chase is undisputed. He has not lost uh, his championship title since gaining it back in BCW. Butcher biting those fingers again, lifting him up. Oh my God, the maneuver that Gene Chase usually puts down people. Butcher just took it from him there. Look at the power. It's impressive that he could just keep throwing him around like this. The Iron Man match may not be a good thing for Gene Chase after all. Oh no, look at this deliverance. The Iron Man match may not be good after all as Butcher just feels like he's not even slowing down. So either way this goes, Gene Chase is in a world of hurt. Oh, look at this, farmhand. He's got it. Gene Chase choking there. Butcher does go to one knee though. Does, does that mean he's actually getting tired? Gene Chase rolling over, trying to make sense of it, trying to figure out where he is. Butcher going up the ladder, but he is going very slowly. This could be the reason why Gene Chase wants that Iron Man match then. He knew he would get slowed down. Look at that, attacking the knee. I don't even know how Gene Chase is standing as well. Let's give credit where credit's due. The crowd not liking this whatsoever though. Wanting Butcher to succeed. Butcher's trying to reach for it though, and Gene Chase just won't let him, attacking those knees. Look at this. Gonna pull him down. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God, what a power bomb! And this time, Butcher rose out of the ring. And Gene Chase. No, wait a minute. He started to go out there, but then he saw Butcher getting up and went right back into the ring. Gene Chase trying to go to the top. And Butcher said, no, you don't. Pulls him down. Grabbing him. Look at this, two-handed choke slam. And Butcher spitting that green mist on his hand. Maybe going for another farm hand. Oh, sends him right face first into the ladder. But Gene Chase got an idea of his own. Looks like he's going to send him out to the uh, ringside. Gene Chase laughing at him, that's not a smart idea. And Butcher just sending him over. That could be it right there. Look at this butcher going back into the ring. Will Gene Chase get up in time? Butcher trying to climb that ladder once again, very slow, but he is getting up there. Gene Chase getting on his knees. He's gonna have to get up. I mean, it's a it's a good thing too, like. I'm sure that Gene Chase doesn't really want an Iron Man match with Butcher, but you can't get away from an Iron Man match. If Butcher gets a few over him, then Gene Chase can come back. Where a still cage, he can't escape Butcher's wrath. So he definitely doesn't want to lose this matchup. Gene Chase. Oh no, here it is again. It's going to be that power bomb again. And look at that, he flipped inside out. Gene Chase getting him up, slamming his head into the, the ladder there. And deja vu right now, sending him out to the turnbuckle. But this time, Gene Chase has his way in a neck breaker. 
That could be it right there. It's picking him up again, though. Oh, no, wait a minute. Butcher has an idea of his own. Grabbing him by his chest and slamming him down. The crowd going absolutely wild. Gene Chase on the apron. Butcher making his way up. Gene Chase definitely needs to get into the ring right now because it's not going to be long before he can get that tank down. Gene Chase trying to catch his breath, but he has no time for that. Oh, and he just punched him right in the face. Oh, look at this farmhand on top of the ladder. He's got the farmhand locked in, but Gene Chase smacked his hand away, but it could be too late as he knocks him down and Butcher is going for that tank, but seems to cannot unlock it. The, the, the uh, chain wrapped around the tank isn't letting him bring it down. And Gene Chase out code though. He's trying to pull it. The crowd going nuts right now. Will it be enough? No, look at this. Gene Chase getting back to his feet. He's going to have to hurry. Because this could be it. Gene Chase making his way up. Oh, and a gut punch there. And Butcher let go of the gas container. Butcher trying to get him down again. No, he tosses him off. And he grabs the tank. Look at this. Butcher. Butcher may have fell wrong because he's down. And I think Butcher kind of got that tank uh, off of the chain. And Gene Chase just needs to pull it just a little bit more. Because it was stuck on the chain. And I think Butcher was managed to get it down. But not in time. As Gene Chase. Oh, he's crawling back up. Gene Chase needs to hurry. I don't think Butcher knows where he's at, though. Oh, no, look at this. And it's over. Gene Chase just pulled down the tank. And here's your winner, Gene Chase. So you've seen it there, ladies and gentlemen, Gene Chase and Butcher will face in an Iron Man match at Redemption. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. If you want to see more and you haven't already, then please be a pal and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to NDWA and have a good night.